Hi guys, welcome to this 11th tutorial in this series of programming PIC microcontroller with Micro C Pro for PIC compiler. This is our second project in this series. In this project, we're gonna design an automatic temperature control system. An automatic temperature control system has the ability to monitor and control temperature of a specified space without human intervention. This project uses a peak microcontroller to automatically control the temperature of a specified area. This area could be a small plant, a house, or any place or device that require a controlled temperature, like a chicken incubator, for example. The desired temperature settings is entered using a keypad. The temperature of the area is measured using the analog sensor. The microcontroller reads the temperature every 10 seconds and compares it with the desired value which was entered using a keypad. If this desired value is higher than the measured temperature, then the heater is switched on to warm the area. If, on the other hand, the measured value is higher than the desired value, then the fan is switched on to cool off the area. An LCD display shows the measured temperature continuously. This is part one of this project. In this part, we're gonna design the circuit diagram. So let us go to Proteus to design our circuit diagram. In this project, we're gonna use the PIC 18F45K22. In the library, PIC 18F45K22. This PIC has got 32 kilobytes of code memory, which is more than enough for this project. Click OK. The second device that we're gonna need in this project is the LCD display. LCD. We're gonna use the 16 by 2 line LCD display. The other device that we're gonna need is the keypad. Keypad. We're gonna use this keypad. The other devices that we're gonna need. You're gonna need the temperature sensor. You're gonna use the LM35. This is a precision centigrade temperature sensor. It can measure the temperature from minus 55 degree to 150 degrees Celsius. We're gonna need some transistors. We're gonna use the BC108. This is a silicon NPN low power bipolar transistor. We're gonna need a relay. We're gonna need this one. We're gonna need a fan. To simulate our fan, we're gonna use a DC motor. We're gonna have this simple DC motor. We're gonna need a diode 1N4004. We're gonna need a push button. We're gonna have this one. We're gonna need a couple of resistors, say 10K resistors. We're gonna use this one. We're gonna need a crystal oscillator. We're gonna need some few capacitors, 22 pico. We're gonna need a heater. To simulate the heater, we're gonna use the bulb. And lastly, we're gonna need a variable resistor to vary the contrast of our LCD display. We're gonna use this one. Click OK. Let us connect our component together. We're gonna start with the LCD display. Let me move this one this side. Let's start with our LCD display. Let me just mirror horizontally my peak microcontroller. We're gonna connect our LCD display on port C. The LCD data lines from D4, we're gonna connect D4 to RC0, D5 to RC1, D6 to RC2, and D7, gonna connect to RC3. The RS pin, we're gonna connect it to RC4, and the enable pin, 
gonna connect it to RC5. Let us connect our variable resistor. This variable resistor is used to vary the contrast of the LCD display. The wiper pin of the variable resistor will be connected to VEE of the LCD display and one pin should be connected to the positive 5 volt supply and the other pin should be connected to ground so we're gonna need the positive power supply and we're gonna need the ground connector as well connect to ground this should be connected to positive 5 volt positive 5 volt okay the VDD pin of the LCD display should be connected to positive 5 volt and the VSS should be connected to ground and lastly on the LCD display the pin RW which is read write pin should be connected to ground as well okay the other thing that we're gonna connect is the keypad we're gonna connect our keypad to port B of our peak microcontroller this first pin we're gonna connect it to RB0 and the second colon pin gonna connect it to RB1 and the last colon pin we're gonna connect it to RB2 we're gonna connect row A to RB4 row B to RB5 row C to RB6 and the last row we're gonna connect it to RB7 we're gonna need a couple of resistors when we are connecting our keypad if you learned it from the keypad tutorial gonna need four resistors rotate two three and four, let me drag some of this pin this side so that I can have some some space to connect my resistors. Drag wire. All these resistors will be ten k resistors, so I'm gonna hide the so I'm gonna hide the part number so that I can have some space to connect my resistors. Edit properties. I'm gonna hide the part reference and the the name okay gonna connect this one to to row a second row the third row and r4 to the fourth row all these resistors should be connected to ground gonna need the ground okay the next thing that we're gonna connect is our reset circuit we're gonna need a push button a 10k resistor in the ground okay this is our reset circuit whenever we press this button our circuit will be reset gonna need the positive supply as well should be connected to positive 5 volt okay I'm gonna name this reset reset okay the other thing that we're gonna need to connect is our oscillator circuit crystal oscillator rotate We're gonna use 8 megahertz crystal oscillator. Just gonna hide this so that I can have some space. Show all. Okay. We're gonna connect our crystal oscillator to oscillator 1 and 2 pin of the peak microcontroller. We're gonna need two capacitors. gonna need the ground okay 
The other thing that we're going to connect is our temperature sensor. We're going to connect our temperature sensor to RA0, which is analog channel 0. Because we don't have a space to connect our V out straight to our RA0 to make our circuit neat, we're going to use a connector. This connector temp Okay, we're gonna need another connector this side, X mirror, and we're gonna write the same thing, temp, and this is gonna be basically a connection from my RA, which is analog zero, to my temperature sensor. Pin one should be connected to positive supply, positive five volt, and pin 3 should be connected to ground okay and lastly what we are gonna need is to connect our fan and our heater we are gonna also need some connectors so that our circuit could look neat we are gonna connect our heater to D0 and our fan to D1 we are gonna need a connector, two connectors this one will be our heater and this one will be our fan. Let us connect our heater and our fan. To do this we're gonna need a transistor because we're not gonna connect our heater directly to a peak microcontroller. We're gonna connect it through a relay and the relay is gonna be powered with a transistor. We're gonna have the BC108 Gonna need a relay as well. Gonna need a resistor. We are gonna need a diode. This diode is called a freewheeling diode. It's used to suppress the back EMF generated by the coil of the relay. When it switches on and off, this back EMF could go and destroy our transistor. So we need a diode to protect our transistor. We're going to connect this diode in reverse bias across the coil of our relay. We're going to need our heater, which is represented by a bulb. This will be a 12 volt heater. We're going to need a positive supply, power, this will be 12 volt, positive 12 volt. This heater will be connected to the normally open connector of the, the relay and ground. We're going to need the ground. The ground will be connected to the common pin of the relay. We're going to need the ground for our transistor as well. Our relay will be powered from the same power supply as our peak microcontroller. It's going to be powered with 5 volt. 5 volt. Okay. We're going to need another connector. This is going to be heater. Heater. This is going to be the same connection to connect our transistor to RT0. Let us connect our fan as well. It's going to be connected exactly as our heater. Let me rename this L1 to heater. Okay. And that's all guys for this tutorial. We have connected all our components. We've got the LCD display to display continuously the measured temperature. We've got a reset circuit to reset our circuit. We've got a keypad to enter the value of the reference temperature. We've got a temperature sensor. We've got an oscillator circuit. We've got the heater. And we've got the fan. Just going to write fan. And that's all guys for this first part of this tutorial. In the second part, we're going to start writing our code. And I'll see you guys in the second part. Thank you.